Hello everybody, my name is Captain Cheesecake and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Did I ever say that in the last episode? I don't think I did. Well anyways, uh, I'm recording this right after the first video because I'm having too much fun with this game. This one's going to be shorter because I just want Yuri and Monica to read my poems and then I'll call it quits. But, alright, let's get, let's get Yuri. May as well. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. What? How do you do that? Uh, um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be, uh, it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? My fucking throat hurts. I'm sorry. Yuri buries herself in her, her, her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might, be, it might take Yuri a while to get used to the new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable, noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different kind, different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in this club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. <coughs> do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreaming, dreamily, as if the, it's, a rare, well, it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under Light. I'm going to read this like Edgar Allan Poe. Except I can't read half of these words! The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. I can, I'm sorry, I, I find it hard to read cursive. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's an interesting poem. You know what's funny? I started doing this game also because uh, I did remember that there was poetry in this game. But uh, I'm actually learning about poetry in school, so I thought that was kind of funny. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. No, it's way better than a lot of people. You should see my handwriting. I couldn't read it the other day. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. <coughs> But it took you a long time to read. Actually, it didn't take me that long at all. Ah. Well, I just... I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to... Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Tea break.
Are you the ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Alex. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. I think the post is about yourself, to be honest, but I could be wrong. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Yeah, exactly, that's what I just said. Lingering in her last and remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with notice, no, nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank you, Yuri. Well, I guess we only have one person to show our poem to now. Monica. Hi, Alex. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or something we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Alex. You were all a little embarrassed today, you know. But if that's so, but if that's, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Alex. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> I'm trying to go for that popular girl laugh. You know the ones where they're like, <laughs> they're like that. Oh, jeez. No, no. That kind of makes me think of something like something Natsuki would write, and she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. There are lots of poems or stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about, but if you, oh my God! But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. Uh, wait, I see. Uh, sorry. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. What are you talking about? I got the meaning as soon as I fucking read it! These are easy poems to understand, man. When, when do they get harder? So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or something. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Oh, I'm sorry, hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A nosy, a noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun but it's too late my retinas <coughs> sorry already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright it was too deep stretching forever into everything a hole of infinite choices i realize now that i was looking in i was look i wasn't looking in i was looking out and he on the other side was looking in so did you see an eyeball? Is that what you're saying? 
So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Oh yeah, it has? Who wrote it? Emily Dickinson? Edgar Allan Poe? Toulouse Lautrec? He's a, he's a, he works in a brothel, never mind. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be pretty, really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it's some kind of ep epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something for, yeah, I was right, to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. Yes? And that's how Bendy and the Ink Machine started. So you just move your hand and go with the flow. So you just say anything that comes into your mind? Sounds easy enough. I'll write a poem about cheeseburgers tomorrow night. <laughs> that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Whew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. No one's judging you! What are you talking about? Even if they're be just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of, pa sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. How do you smile sadly? Is that what those like really tiny smiles are? Then that makes sense. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, uh, that's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? I did it. I got it. <laughs> it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. It just, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Alex did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Uh, and Alex liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki, Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> Mouth harp time! That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Alex appreciates my advice more than he appreciated you. Wow! Someone actually fucking fighting over me! I've never had that happen before! Why did I take my headphones off? I don't know. Huh? How do you like? How do you know you didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. 
Ooh, I don't know. How do you express that? Uh, uh, is everything okay? Everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger than as soon as Alex started showing up. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... That doesn't... That doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Uh, she... She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? I the Why are we chatting? The meaning you should the me the meaning should jump out at the at the blah, 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 blah. the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. I agree. I actually agree with that. Help me explain that to her, Alex. Wait, there's a reason we have to, so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You don't understand that, right? You do what you- Oh my god, I can't fucking read! You understand that, right, Alex? Uh, well? Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. HELP ME SAY ORI! <laughs> So of course that's the, it's going to be I don't know. <laughs> I guess the right answer would be like help me say alright. I'm gonna save. Good. How that that Suki and Suki glares at me. That wait, that's not what I clicked. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Ah, oh, wait, no, 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 not there, not there. There. Natsuki, oh wait, that's the same. That's the same outcome. Yeah, that's the same outcome. Natsuki, two clairs would be drying up words, any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri! Hey. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making a friend feel like this? Oh. Oh, well that's her problem. This isn't about her. And it's time for more tea. Fuck, I'm almost out. This is a small mug. I'm out of tea again. I agree. That's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sarah wants to tell Yuri what her stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes Stop me! Sorry, it's just Stop! I can't fucking scream, my throat hurts. Hmm? Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems... They're amazing because they give you so many feelings just with just few words. And your poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. Why is my voice packing? So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And your poops are the same as they always are. Big and beautiful. <laughs> they are Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Oh, make some tea. Yeah, I need some more of that. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. 
I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Oh, no. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. Oh, so clearly my character likes Monica. Oh, okay. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How long were we here? How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Alex, how about you? Yeah, it's the same. It was, an, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. And out to myself with newfound determination. Hey! Is ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> so already beanies at me. Funny time! I can't do that. My throat fucking shot. My voice is shot. And truly has been a while since Sayori and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. I'm enjoying it! I don't even know you two! Sayori? About what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, no, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Alex, it's nice to, that I get to spend some time with you. Fuck, I butchered that. Uh, it's nice that I get to spend so much time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I, <laughs> I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's go with... Do so, no, I'm kidding. Um... I'm gonna actually save real quick. I'm gonna do the poem real quick, so, uh, let's go with... Silly! And, uh, Ribbon! And... Fantasy! And, uh, I... These are all the same words. Sparkle and uh, socks <laughs> and uh, anxiety and uncanny and strawberry and well, since I guess since we're here, donkey, donkey and kitty and. Uh, heart and uh, melody and covet and uh... oh I get it so like big words are Yuri cutesy words like uh, puppy would be for Natsuki and then I believe everything else would be like let's say bouncy but never mind uh, climax, uh, tragedy, 
What? Why did Sayori jump at that? Uh, Daydream! Oh, okay. Everything, like, fun would be for Sayori. Okay. So, like, cheer. Yeah, alright. Let's go with sugar. Uh, memories. Ah, right, that's it. Fuck, my throat hurts. <laughs> Alright, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save here for now. Because I'm officially done playing this game. I really am fucking enjoying this game way too much. Like, that whole fight scene, I was shouting the whole thing. Like, I can barely talk right now because my throat is fucking shot. I've been screaming so much playing this game, my throat fucking hurts. But I don't care. I'm having a blast playing this game. This is fun. I'm gonna be really sad when it turns dark, though. I know it does turn really fucking dark. I just don't remember when. It could happen right now. It could happen, like, way into the game. I don't remember. But anyways, guys, I'm done playing for right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit that like button, bell button, share button, and subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye!